hi friends let's see our next hacker rank problem which is diagonal difference so here we are going the question is that we are going to find the diagonal difference of a square matrix so here the main important point is that uh, they asked to find the diagonal difference that means the absolute difference between the sum of the diagonals so initially let us see what is first of all absolute difference okay so just google it so simply just go for math.abs mdn documents so if you observe what is the absolute difference see this is the example they have given so in the case of absolute difference the function difference of a comma b written math.abs of a minus b so here for an example if you observe in this case the difference of 3 comma 5 so here the difference of 3 comma 5 is nothing but you can take 3 minus 5 which is equal to in general it is actually minus 2 but here since it is a diagonal difference it returns 2 Similarly, difference of 5 comma 3 also it returns 2. That means it simply acts like a mod, mod of a point a minus b. Okay. So finally it returns the positive value. That's all. So here let's enter to the problem. So in this case, they have given a square matrix. So as you know, the square matrix, the, num the number of rows and number of columns are going to be equal. So here, if you observe the input actually, so here they have given the first line of the input represents the square the corresponding single integer n which represents the rows and columns of the square matrix that means for a square, a square matrix as I told earlier the number of rows and number of columns are equal so here it represents since it is a 3 by 3 matrix they have represented 3 the first line of the input and the rest of the lines of and the rest of the input represents the corresponding matrix it is the first row second row and third row that means the first row of a square matrix which contains the elements 11 2 and 4 and the second row of a square matrix consists of 4, 5, 6 elements. And the third row of a square matrix consists of 10, 8 and minus 12. So here, what is the actual agenda of this problem? So what do you need to find out in this particular problem? Okay. So let us see the basic example of this particular case. Okay. So let us case this particular, uh, let us uh, consider this particular square matrix. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 9, 8, 9. Okay. So in this case, what you are actually supposed to find out? So here we are supposed to find out initially in order to find the absolute difference between the diagonals of a square matrix. Okay. So let us find the diagonal. First of all, let us find the diagonal sum. So here if you observe the diagonal 1 which consists of elements 1, 5 and 9 and the diagonal 2 of a square matrix, uh, this particular square matrix consists of 3, 5 and 9. Okay. That means initially you are supposed to find out the diagonal sum of this, uh, this particular square matrix okay so in the first case you in the for the first diagonal that means for the left to right diagonal you will be getting the sum of 15 and for the right to left diagonal you will be getting a sum of 17 now we are going to find out the absolute difference between the sum of these two elements which is math.abs of in simple 15 minus 17 which is equals to 2 as i told earlier so this absolute difference is finally written as a true value that means positive value so it can be either 17 minus 15 or it can be 15 minus 17 finally it returns a value it returns a positive value which is equals to 2 okay let's deep dive into the code and solve it so here again as usual let's uh, let us console dot and see the what the input actually they are providing okay so console dot log of array so what is the input let us see first they have written That is crossing. So if you observe the debug output is going is going to be a three by three matrix. That means it is consists of an array. Okay. So now let us uh, go for how to calculate the diagonal sum. Okay. So here I am considering I am writing two. That means for an example, first of all, left to right diagonal is equals to zero. So LTR is nothing but left to right diagonal and similarly RTL diagonal is equals to 0. Okay. Now what is the logic that you are going to follow actually? So here before thinking about the logic just go for just go and observe the square matrix what you are going to see actually. So if you observe a square matrix, let's consider the index where that is, that means array index starting from the zero value. So let us consider from this. Okay. So here in this case, it is the first element is going to be zero one. Okay. 
so in general the matrix generally starts with 1 1 that means first uh, first row first element so in general for the sake of the array okay i am considering the index value starts from 0 so in simple i am taking this one okay it is 0 0 0 1 0 2 similarly 1 0 1 1 1 2 similarly 2 0 2 1 2 2 so for the left to right diagonal what are the elements you are going to uh, sum up that means 0 0 1 1 2 2 that means in general for simple you can say it is that means the both elements are going to be same 0 0 1 1 2 2 okay similarly in this case you are going to can this is uh, 0 2 this is 1 1 and it is 2 0 okay so now just see that how you are going to implement this in our code okay so for an example in first of all let us go for a simple for loop okay so for for i is equals to 0 i is less than array dot length i plus plus so here ltr of ltr diagonal is equals to now i am going for so left to right diagonal consists of the same elements like 0 0 1 1 and 2 2 so the task is going to be simple and in the second case so here the actual problem starts so how you are going to implement the right to left diagonal so here if you observe i am going to implement a very 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 simple logic here so array dot dot length minus i minus 1 okay. so let's see how it works first of all so actually so the left to right diagonal means for iteration 1 say for i is equals to 0 you are going to go for that means the left to right diagonal value is going to be i just sorry i need to add some symbol over here so here initially the value is going to be i i that means 0 0 okay and similarly in the, in the second iteration it is going to be 1 1 in the third iteration it is going to be 1 2 oh, sorry 2 2 similarly if you observe the right to left diagonal value in the first first, first iteration say for an example i is equals to 0 so array of 0 and here the length of the array is going to be 3 so 3 minus 0 minus 1 which is equals to 2 and in the, for the second iteration it is 1 and the array is going to be 3 minus 1 minus 1 which is equals to 1 that means array of 1 1 and for the third iteration say for i is equals to 2 array of 2 which is 3 minus 2 minus 1 which is going to be 0 okay so this is how you are going to find out so now let us go for the final result say i am taking a variable result which is equals to math dot abs of so LTR diagonal minus RTR diagonal and I am going to return result okay. okay now let's run the code and see that how what's going to be happen yes okay. now let's submit the code yes it passes all the test cases so that you will be getting n 10 points yeah. so here the important step that you're going that you are going to be confessed is this particular step so just if you have any doubts in understanding this particular logic okay just take a pen and paper and solve this particular logic in the pen and paper so if you have any doubts you can comment it out thank you